Now, these are the basic routes. What if you want to create the nested routes? You may have noticed when clicking on these links that will disappear the navigation menu. Repeating shared layouts is a pain. So, let's see how to persist the layout using nested routes. Right now, when I click on the invoices, it's going to redirect us to the invoice URL and render the invoice component. It will do the same thing with expenses. But what I want when I click on the invoices or on the expenses, I want the app component layout as well. Right now, these invoices and these expenses routes are siblings to the app component. We want to make them children of the app route. By doing this, we can persist the layout or you can say we can share the layout between components using nested routes. So what we are going to do is, instead of self-closing this route right here, I'm going to close this route, something like this. And inside this route, right here, I'm going to put both these siblings, something like this. Now let me save the changes. When I click on the invoices, you can see we're going to have the navigation menu and we are redirect to the invoices URL. When I click on the expenses, it will redirect to the expenses URL. But where is the UI? When the app route have children, it does two things. It nests the URL and it will nest the UI component for share layout when the child route matches. So if you want to render the invoices and the expenses right down here, just out of this navigation menu, you have to call outlet in the parent component. The outlet should be used in the parent route elements to render their child route elements. This allows nested UI to show up when the child routes are rendered. If the parent route matches exactly, it will render a child index route or nothing if there is no index route. Let me show you the example. If I back to the app.js, let me just call here outlet and we need to call this outlet right inside just out of this navigation menu right down here. I want to show the content of my children right after the navigation menu. So I'm going to put the outlet right down here. Save this file. You can see. When I save the changes, I'm going to have these expenses just out of this now. When I click on the invoices, I'm going to have my invoices. So if the parent route match exactly, it will render the child index route. You can see this will persist the app layout and render child components. The parent route persists while the outlet swap between two childs. This will work at any level of route hierarchy. So if you want to add another nested route after these invoices, then you can do that as well. Well, let's suppose if you close this route and add another route here inside this invoices something like this with the path one two three and if i just print here a div with bills when i save the changes it's going to return an error message this is because you have to pass the absolute route path inside this nested route so what you have to do is instead of just one two three or any other route path you have to call this invoices forward slash and then specify your route let me save the changes here you have your application and now when you open route one to three it's going to print this division tag now you won't going to have this division tag until you have this outlet inside your invoices so if you try to import the outlet from the react router dome and print that outlet inside these invoices something like this you can see you're going to have your bills inside your invoices so that's upon you you can make any level of route hierarchy inside this powerful nested routing